player in the state of Mississippi talking about the guy who wears zero on his back for Alabama. Meanwhile, Jordan Dingle, number three, dishes. And as always, they look for Broder at the baseline. Okay, no post player there for Alabama. Uh, got Alex trying, Reese trying to play the post a little bit. Not quite as big. And inside is Broder to tie it. Alabama, all of their last five shots. These first games are always very interesting. Wow. Yeah, huh? Broder long. By matching their largest lead. Penn is led by three. Broder backs in on Reese. And gets it over top of him nicely. That's what a lot of people say. <laughs> Kyra Lewis. Here's Bentley. I always laugh. The officials came out, folks, before the ball game. Hit my hand. He did after he scowled at you for about 18 seconds. Offense with a, a roving post player, and you'll see a really good offense by this uh, Pennsylvania team. There you see the Penn lineup. Bentley outstanding, coming off an injury, and a long tray try is cashed in. He has a uh, elbow injury, we were told, and uh, is questionable as to whether he will return. And here we go. And so what else is new? Well, that's we your, open with a well, set up for the dribble drive by Carroll, but uh, not a very good shot by my man Alex Reese, who's going to be a good player. He's uh, injured a little bit right now. Trying to find a shooter. Well, they're doing a good job of closing to the perimeter. Not a lot of catch and shoot opportunities. Again, inside, Broder, he is just these mid range and on the blocks. Can't ask for anything more offensively. 15 points here in the first half. He had 22 in the season opener against Army. And there's the answer. Go up and then retreat back. And also to get in there, offensive the rebound without foul is so special. Broder had a wide open look for that three pass step instead the pick and roll. And just muscles in another post move. He's listed at 6'4, 210. Justin Moore carries himself like a bigger and stronger player. Straight cut down the lane for Goodman. And a cut the rebound. Lakers are not afraid to push the pace in this game. And there's a backdoor. An easy two for Bethan. He's the guy that's going one-on-one. -on -one and uh, Crosby Roundtree is a guy that's going to give you a little bit of everything, but not the score. Pat's fine with you taking contested twos. They just don't want you to get in a rhythm on three. Cut to the basket, and there's an easy. They're going to have problems. Arizona taking away a ball reversal could change the way Penn plays offense. Just simply take the ball reversal away, and, and, and you only have to play defense on half the court. Good help. Broder, a nice pass to a cutting Eddie Scott. Smith was there. Great. He's one of the toughest guys to cover because you have to gap because of his physicality, because of his explosiveness, he can get to the rim. But he also can drop shots right in front of your face. Good game. Broder inside. Broder, there's that craftiness. It's a good find. Facilitate a good. That's your that's your role as an official. Skip pass, open three. Ryan Bentley rattles it in. So Broder is now in with his four fouls and over 14 minutes to play. And if you're Arizona, you better attack. You better attack Broder. Nice pass from Broder to He's cutting. So good. Max Martz. And they rely on taking tough shots. You gain confidence in what you can do on the offensive end, particularly if you get out in transition. AJ Broder, they left him by himself. <laughs> you may want to guard the guy with the. It means you got to keep your head up. It's hard to do when you're so aggressive like him. Keep your head up, identify where the double's coming from, find the open man. But the Duke transfer having a strong first half offensively. There's the action, the cut from Penn rattles out. Easy dunk. It's a really easy game. 
It's an even easier game if you, you have players that require a double team. Here's Broder. Ryan Bentley launches. Three. That's big. Oh, man, look. Penn has made their last five threes to try to hang in there, but they're still down 14. They have. They've gotten good looks, and that's another one. They've that's made their last six threes. Look. Ryan Bentley with defense. Bickley Smith has to stay with his man. See, man, see ball. Simple, simple principles get the job done. Broder again with the pass. Count it and one. Ryan Bentley. Good back cut. And the reverse lay-in for Ryan Bentley, and there's Broder again with the pass. Kevin Goodman, the floater, off the window. One possession night for the Wildcats, and Manning has 20. No analysis needed. Broder back on the bench now for Penn. Jordan Dingle rattles in a three. Look, a made shot for Penn. But to Devin Goodman for Penn. Opportunity. Jordan Dingle, one wow. more time. Now. Devin Goodman, Big. three. So you can rebound the basketball if Arizona's gonna make tough shots So be it, but you can't give them second chance opportunities particularly guys like Zeke Naji Broder a season high 23 last night Was able to stretch the defense and hit some threes Speaking of threes Ryan Bentley is a marksman from out there drives the lane wow. lifts it up to the end. How about the around? Well, that, that would be easy but I, I like you like that. to make it difficult on yourself. I think no, but I think that actually takes a lot out of an opponent when you get offensive rebounds. I, I, again, I, I said this I think yesterday talking about Michigan State in 99 2000 when, when they offensive rebound of 48 percent of their shots. Nice cut, Max Martz the bus. You know, first Providence, their offense is based on athleticism, their size, and not that Penn doesn't have athletes, but theirs is based on structure patience and understanding of what kind of shots you should get move your way into four spacing or find the open guy and that's exactly what Penn just did good sharing of the basketball Eddie Cooley believes that he could be the sixth man of the year in Big East play let's see what kind of defensive energy they're playing with here on the inside Broder got free for an easy two team in the two games played here at the dunk this week Whole demeanor changes when Broder's back on yeah. the floor, doesn't it? There's Dingle, catch and shoot. Got yeah. it. Everything goes. Sure, Coach Donahue studied that. He told us he's an analytics nerd. He loves it. He loves the numbers. And I'm sure he looked at that with fouls and time, time and score. Dingle, catch and shoot. Wow, big three for the freshman. Him make some shots. Get that confidence back that he had as a freshman before he got injured. He was back in the lineup the other night six points and three boards after sitting with a back problem in the previous game It's a nice move by Dingle and a prettier feed And it's kind of a soft pressure Goes into the ball already a little bit quicker on this end as they show a zone look to Ben On the corner Bentley got it Three of them now in the first Yeah, and you don't need it. You've done a great job of, of working your way back into this game. Go down low again. Keep the pressure on the officials to call a foul, and then Broder to pick up his next one. Bentley stepping back, hits his fifth three-pointer of the ball game. You get that shot anytime. If you're Pipkins, you got to probe a little bit, find the open guy. That's Bentley. And from the corner, Bentley. An assist in the country. They have right now seven assists. Dingle throws through. That's another open look for Penn, and it's drained by Lucas Monroe. Wins in the previous two seasons. That's the most they've had over a two-season run in almost 20 years. Out along the inside, Jared Simmons into the game now for Penn.
From outside, March nails it. All right, let's just relax a little bit. Maybe some jitters. You want to get this thing going against the team that you says that you say plays more deliberately, but attention to detail defensively, Scott, is what. The Quakers decide to slow down the pace. One point ball game between Yale and Penn. A 6 0 run for Yale to start this second half. Goodman bounce pass to Broder. Look inside to Monroe, and that's Penn's first basket. That is a danger when a 6 8 forward can consistently shoot the three. Martz on the two man game. Great passing from the Quakers. Great cut. Covered basketball grad. Kirkwood was actually coached by Corey Johnson's mother before he arrived to Harvard. Dangle. Inside. Broder got it. If you don't, he's going to bury you at the rim and finish righty or lefty. He's as physically dominant as any player in the league. I'd say Richmond Eriguzo from Princeton. And then Lewis. Oh. Right now it's defense. For the Crimson. Harvard coming in having won eight in a row overall. Another a few possessions before Penn actually double teamed and Lewis took his time to identify the double team. It didn't come and he could go into his patented jump hook move. Broder working against Kirkwood. Down low. It's Goodman again. Yeah, obviously, they roll with the red and blue here. Thought that this might be a runaway win for them, but not in conference play. Beautiful feed. Just inside, 90 seconds left. Broder. To a cutting Goodman. Completely woken up. We talked about his first half was really quiet, but he is playing like a man possessed the last five minutes of regulation and certainly in this overtime. Kirkwood with nine. And, and the one thing to mention, all you young players out there, not everything is gone. Also, Juzang in the lineup in Baker for the Crimson. Ken for Bentley, Dingle, Goodman, Marks, and Broder, an opportunity to draw things in the Ivy League camp. Wants to come back left, almost traveled there. Now Coach Donahue wants to get a great shot, try to establish that offensive dominance that Penn had early in the game. Batley, catch and shoot. Cut out. This is just a rock fight right now. None of the, <laughs> nothing offensively. Broder. Sees three and gets them. We're now up to double digits in 39 straight games against D1 competition. Broder, nice cut by Betley. Gets caught under the hoop, but it goes in anyway. By Max Marks. Yeah, first shot for Harvard, a three-pointer. Didn't take a whole lot of threes last night against Princeton, but did take a bunch of threes last Saturday against Columbia. We'll see if they go that way. Could be a three-point shooting bonanza. And there's Broder's first off the palm of his hand. High arc on it and just dropped down so smooth in the basket. Inside to Broder. Man by Lewis off the backboard and in. That's been his move tonight. Right now, uh, you talk about continuity and understanding. They've got it. Uh, DJ Carton at the point, I, I love him, but they just play solid basketball. AJ Broder, a three. Five in possession for Penn. It's not even just important that you score, it's important that you take time and you actually work this defense a bit. If you get a good look, you still have confidence in the game. Broder inside across the key. That helps too. Midway through the first half, two-point lead for the Quakers. Open look, Max Martz nails a three. That was like a point lead. Atkinson. 
And that one nearly poked away from Broder. Penn fortunate to secure it. Good hustle by Jordan Bruner right there. Just Broder thought he had a clean one. Bruner doesn't quit on a great pass. And a good cut by Goodman. He's rewarded. Low and Atkins is going to make that all day long. Atkinson on that Lou Henson midseason award watch list. Yeah, Mark should be looking to go off the dribble on yes here. If he can beat him side to side. Instead, he'll put it up from three and splash it in. 16 and nine. And it's a three point lead for the Bulldogs. Martz open for three again. Tie game. Gotta have it.